for those of you who watched the other night, I made this lantern swag. I did add a few uh, extra glittered pieces to it. All right, I I kind of like the distressed farmhouse look. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to create some topiaries. All right, now this is this is going to be the base. Good morning, Victoria. How are you? Okay, so this is a pair of candlesticks that I attached a plastic lid to the top of it because I have these two tube pans that I found. I have found one the other day and found one this morning. So these are gonna get glued on top of here, okay? So you've got two cake pans, two candlesticks, and two plastic lids. You could find candlesticks in the Dollar Tree. You can find them everywhere. I like vintage ones that I find in my in my um, my little antique places that I go to. This is a pair of brown ones. I just love these. I use these for um, Halloween. I had my uh, my um, pumpkins on top of there. All right, so we're gonna. Oops, got to take off the price tag. All right, so I'm gonna glue this to the top of the plastic lid. Because what I like about this, see how deep this is? This is a couple inches deep, okay? My styrofoam is going to sit in there, and my dowel rod is going to be on in my styrofoam, glued in really good. And then we're going to stack the balls on top of each other. And what's nice about this, I can put lights in here if I want. Then I can put greenery in there, all right? So here we go, and this is all from stuff that I found, okay? So I want to glue this on top of the lid, oops, it's getting a little too sticky too quick. Oh, I'll probably have to go back and use the E6000 on this, but right now that's upstairs and I've been running up and down the steps so I'm just going to go with hot glue for now again like I said I can go back later and touch it up there's a little groove in here which is nice because the glue sits there and it sits on top of the plastic lid there we go come on now go down in There. And I could even use caulk if I wanted to, too. And like I said, I can go back and, and do this. All right. Now, this is just floral foam, they call it, from the dollar store. But I want to hack off a piece of this and put it in the middle. And see, these are going to sit on either side of the lantern. I have a ledge that I'm going to put it on. Well, let's see if I can do this without cutting myself. Um, let's see. This is a, a blade from an electric knife. I used to use this a lot in upholstery when I did the motorcycle seats and such. And here comes the fun part. Going down in. Might have to just do it this way. Wiggle it. Come on. Should have had this pre-cut. You wouldn't have to sit here and listen to this. edges a little bit. Now what 
I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that down in there. All right, because I want to be able to take my dowel ride and glue it right in there. And it should hold it. some more. Okay, we've got one set up. Now we'll get the styrofoam in the other one. rounding off the corners a little bit. Alright. It's getting harder and harder to squeeze this gun. I went with it because it's a DeWalt. All right, let me get rid of some of this mess here. All right, now, see, it's kind of like the metal take on the um, on the lantern. So, what I'm going to do next? Now, this. Make sure this goes through. Okay. Now, this is the secret. All right, these are the unbreakable balls. The way to put holes in them is just to sit your glue gun on top of it. Because what it's going to do, it's going to melt it and make your hole bigger for you. Or make your hole period. Okay. I want to leave this, it would be the top of this ornament. I want to leave that intact because I really want to take that and push that down into the um, styrofoam. Now this is the hard part. Trying to find your your hole. Because you really can't see. And I had it just a minute ago. Let's try going down. That hole's still not big enough. So I need to burn it a little bigger. I'm just kind of melting it with the hot tip of the glue gun. That's the trick. No drilling involved, just melting. Now let's see if it'll go through. Well, it went through there. There we go. Okay. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. I'd like to put a good amount down in the middle. Huh. Guess what? Our styrofoam is too high. So we got to shave it some. Ew, that looks disgusting. Right, so let's shave it down some because it's sitting up too high. I can cover it, but I really don't want it sticking that much out of the top. You want it somewhat flat because you don't want your Christmas ball lopsided. So it's really got to be, there we go. All right, let's just re-glue Jeez, I just put one in there. That sucker is eating them up today. Okay. 
see how that goes. There. Okay. Now, let me see about how high this is going to go. I know about where to cut it. So I think about here would be good. That's about the half of the stick, right? Yeah. Just want to make sure I didn't cut myself short. All right. I already worked on this hole for this one. So now what we're going to do is try and thread it through. Find the other hole. Okay, so you can see it's starting to take shape. Now, I thought I'd put one of these in here because I have that shape in the other one. Now, what, I'll show you how to do this one. All right, you've got your little um, lip on here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take little bits of it because you don't want to try and chop it all off like that until you have some of it broken up because you want it to lay flat against the one that it's sitting on top of. Is anybody from my group on here? Hello. Hello, Rita. Rita, could you kind of spread the love, dear? Thank you. I appreciate it. Because I shared ahead of time, but that was it. All right. So now we're going to go to the middle of the top of it. We're going to heat press another hole. Are you following me so far? Is anybody going to give this a try? Thank you, Rita. And this will only work on the unbreakable ones because the unbreakable ones are plastic. You could probably try drilling, but I was afraid I wouldn't be able to hit it right. So I'm just melting. We're melting. And sometimes it just reaches the tip and then you got to stick something down in there just to get it a little, just to unclog it a little bit because the stuff will glue, it'll melt, but then it'll clog up the hole. All right. So here we go with the next one. This one's going to be easy to follow. Check it out. Isn't it looking good so far? And then we're going to put this one on top. All right. So we don't need all of this. So I think we're safe to cut it about right there. Now, in case you all didn't see, AC Moore is closing out. They started today. At least they did in my area. Okay. Well, that's glued in there pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is kind of hit it, spot it with, oh, come on, are you kidding me? Well, we're back to square one. Thank you. All right. Make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Kind of got clogged up a little there. There we go. I'm mainly doing this because I want it all to match. And I've always, this was on my bucket list of things to make. I know you can do it with styrofoam balls and such, but I thought it'd be nice to make it all match. There we go. All right. 
put a little glue in the hole, shoot it down there. There we go. Then I'm going to, like I said, spot glue underneath this one. And then we've got the next one. It's a little easier to find because the way the shape of the ball is. There we go. And then we'll put this on top. I'm just going to put a little glue in there. How's that look so far? Everybody good? Now, I use some of the garland. I, I have a nine foot piece of garland that I use to add extra greenery to the wreaths that I buy, or you can cut off a section and use it to make a swag, all right? But what I'm gonna be doing with this, I'm gonna be putting stuff in here. Now, I could also put lights in here if I wanted to but I want this to kind of be the focal point. So I'm actually just gonna be adding some greenery in here. That's what's so neat about this. And at the end of the season, I can take this off. And if I wanted to, I could, I could put something else in here. All right, kind of wanted them going like that. All right, doesn't that look good? What are you guys thinking? Oh, thank you, Rita. And then I have these, which are on here, okay? I'm gonna take off the price tags. These came from one of my suppliers. And I know somebody asked me on my live the other night where I got the um, lantern. I'm still checking on that, okay? But I thought these would be cute to place down in here, all right? Or I could even like there. I like how that lays better, just on an angle like that. Then I have, which I got a while back at Party City, these are like a garland, a bobble-like garden, garland, okay? I'm going to take, the, I'm going to probably remove it from the string and place it in there, because these are actually the colors of the balls and such that are all part of this, okay? All right, so let's work on the next one. All right, we've got our, our stuff in here. So we're going back to, again, I'm going to show you the whole process over again. How many of you think you're going to try this? Do I only have nine people on here? Are you kidding me? Come on, people. Let's get with it. Come join me. We're having fun. I'm going to share around. We got to get more people on here. Geez, Rita had more people on, and that was early this morning. Rita's part of our team of dream design group. There's seven of us. We have a private design group, and we have a community page, which is our fabulously fine designers. Ouch. Now, going back and we're going to burn a hole. And it's easy to find the center on these bulbs because they're kind of like um, decorative and they go up to a little point. So it's real easy to do that. And you're just basically sitting here waiting for it to melt, which sometimes like it takes a minute but so much nicer than, than drilling a hole down through the middle because you can't always get it right. You can't always get it straight. Come on. This one's got a little bit of glitter on the top, so it's being stubborn. Thank you, Gary. So how many of you are going to give this a try? I mean, this all came in a big set I bought last year after season. 
at Sam's Club. And what's nice, the whole collection kind of matches. I mean, they've got all um, coordinating colors, I should say. Boy, this one's being really stubborn. Either that or I'm not very strong. I went right through the last one. There we go. And if you're ever working with a hot glue gun, I have a little glass bowl right here full of aloe. I have a huge bottle I got at Walmart. Walmart or Target, and I keep it handy. Because, man, if you burn yourself, that is the best stuff. I teach classes down here. This is actually my classroom. So there's a few of us that have burned ourselves. So I... I need that handy because you get some people that aren't used to working with them. Boy, this one's really thick. If I squirt a little hot glue down there. want to push on it with anything other than this because there's only one of these left and if worse comes to worse I'll go up and I'll get the there we go I guess it was just sleeping for a little bit there there we go okay See where the middle is. Okay, I gotta take this one up and shave it some because it's sitting too high up. Oh, we're starting from scratch. Well, you know what? No. the hole. Dang it. There we go. There. All right. Now I have this one. And that one has this on it. So this one, we're going to use that one. And it also has a different top. It's same, pretty close in color. All right, let's do this one. So you're pulling this off gently. Thank you. And you're just making little scores in it. So when you go to grab it, it's all going to come off together and not going to crack Boop. your ball. Let's share it a few more places. Because everybody's like, let me know when you're on. I want to watch this. And I said, all right.
I'll just share a little bit at a time. And keep working, because I appreciate you waiting and hanging out with me. Have any of you ever made these before? Are any of you going to try and make one? one to go down. Whew, that went easier, didn't it? A little glue there, so I'll sit right in it. All right, we got our next one. Pull that off. Do your scoring. Whoa, good thing nobody's in the room with me. I would have got him in the head. And then just pick out a little bit. I love these. These are really good, but you got to watch your finger because if you get your finger in there, it pinches it. I just like to shave it down so it lays flat. Okay, one more. guys having a good day? Is the weather good where you're at? And if your hole's a little crooked, that's all right. We can fix it with the glue gun. You always angle it back. They're pretty sturdy balls. Whew. Sticking on a little piece of this. Last one we have to put the hole in. This one's a little tougher compared to the other ones. Now you could, if you want, you could use styrofoam balls and decorate them. But I wanted it to look 
I want it to match this, and I wanted to give it that farmhouse look. Man, the other ones weren't this hard. There we go. Now it's going. It's almost like my glue gun falls asleep. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute, I gotta heat up. There. It's not that hard. Okay, this end is too small. Let's make it a little bigger. There it goes. All right. There we go. And I like how the glue just pulls right off. cut it off at about right there. I had little skewers, but they just weren't long enough. So I actually went to AC more and got a three foot piece. There. Let's put a little glue there. All right. Now let's jack it up. We'll put in our greenery. I'm not gluing it in place because I may just have to take this off and use the E6000 glue on the base. So that's why I haven't done anything to it. Oops, I want to go this way. And like I said, I can put lights down in here if I want. Right now I've don't want to do that. And I also have some brown poinsettias that kind of have the same um, coloring. Mm. No, I'm not feeling that. All right, so let's not use that. Let's put this over here on this one. Thank you. Where are you from, Gary? There we go. All right, now, because I got this one kind of going that way, I kind of want to have that one go in the other direction. Right. Now, I have, there's a lot of balls here left, and I didn't even have to do greenery in there. I could have done a bunch of balls from the set. This is everything I have left from what I've been doing, and look, you get four of these, so I could do another set of these if I wanted, because I have another... Well, I don't have two, but I have one more of the top pieces. Well, that's a little crooked. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to boost it up on the one side. But then I got all these in here, which are what I used in the, um, in the lantern. So I could spread some of these in here just to decorate it with some bottles. Jeez. That one 
one just doesn't want to stand there, does it? Well, then it won't. <laughs> I have these little, maybe they're just too big for a minute. Let's try just putting a few of these around and then I can put some of the sticks I have left over from the other. I don't want to do it too far out because I don't want it sticking into that. Like I said, I'm just going to, these are like on a clear filament. Oh, those look better in there, don't they? Yeah. And they're kind of heavy. So they kind of weight themselves down into the greenery. See? Oh, yeah. I've had these for a couple of years. I, I stockpile a lot of stuff because I see it and it's like, I know that will go into design someday. But until I have the right design, they sit. And then my husband thinks I'm hoarding. It's like I'm not hoarding. There we go. I have two, there's like two types of pine on that. So this way it will give it a variety. bubble. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. It's in the styrofoam cook it. Or what I'll do is I'll just put a little wedge of styrofoam down in there. Da da! Cover it up with some of that. This would be pretty with lights, and I may just go back and do it. All right, then like I said, I have some of these sticks that I put in here. This really messy, messy glitter sticks. This came from Trims and Gems. here just to kind of This would be better if I glued it down, but I'm trying to hold off gluing until I re-glue the base. So it's going to be a little crazy till then. I'm just going to roll around and stick up and pop out and jump the dish. But it is what it is. needs to be shorter.
And then with these little bubbles in here, the beads would be real sparkly. There's one. Now we can also put a bow off, just a little bow hanging off the side. Great. All right. Trying to like keep the greenery all going around in the same direction. So I'm trying to do that with the extra that's going in there. probably move this around a little more before I'm done with everything. bubbles over here. This is all done. clear one over there. Hi, Carol. Thank you. We used a couple of I don't know if they're jello molds or cake pans, but we attached it. I attached it to two candlestick holders. And boy, is it looking awesome. We we used the glue gun to burn a hole through the the um, ornaments so we could take it all the way down. Now I'm don't know. I want to put a bow on it. So I'm trying to figure out if I hang a bow over the side or if I put just a small bow up here. So I mean we can try both. But I'm I'm really loving this. I am really happy with it. I found the um I had one of these and then I found a matching one today when I was down at my happy place, which is down in town. Love that little store. And I had these, the garland here. 
baubles on it. So we're putting a few of those in there too. Just to kind of give it a little interest in there. I think this one is just a little bit too long. I think that's why it's not sitting right in my eyes. So we've got two old candlesticks on the bottom, a plastic lid, and then the ring sits on top of the plastic lid. And because it sits up about that high, it has styrofoam in the middle that we glued to the lid. And then we worked our balls going up. Now see, I think that's, too, I don't know, I think that's too much. Woo! The angel's not happy. Oh, she is not happy. Oh, All right, so I think we'll go with a little bow. Um, I could even, if I wanted, I could put one of these on, on this, just down in here. I don't know. And like I said, I still have enough left over to make another one. And I wouldn't have to use this top one. I could actually use these as a top. So I'd have enough to do two more. All out of that set I got from Sam's Club last year. I only got two of these balls left, so I'm just going to throw one in each one. There. Cute. All right, let me, uh, let me do a quick sweep here because I do not want all this ending up in the ribbon. So, I even had some gold pine cones left over from another project, but I don't think they go, it's just too much, too much glitter. All right, now, some of the ribbon that I used the other day was this. I say I don't have enough ribbon. <laughs> okay, there we go. So these were the ribbons I used. Plus I had a silver that was just snowflakes. So I'm just looking to see. Do we put a bow up there? Hey. Where do we put a bow. Do we put a bow right here? Can you all see that? Now, those of you just joining, we used the glue gun to burrow a hole down through the tip of each um, ball. Okay, and this is the way it's going to look. Really? So you can see how it's going to look. So it's like, do I put just maybe a single bow here, a small one here, using one of these colors or two? What's your thoughts? Because you're looking at it from the angle it somebody's going to see it. So what do you think? What's your thoughts, people? Small bow? No bow? 
bow on here, bow here, or bow here. You think it's beautiful as is, you don't think it needs a little bow? Let me just let me just uh play with this one a minute. Let me move this back off the table. And like I said, because this has a little like moat around in here, I can put lights in there too. I just want to see what it'll look like with just maybe three of these. Let's just do one color. Let me see if it's too much. What I used the other day to tie my bow, I used string, knotted it, and then used the string well, I just want to see. And I can say, Oop. this is a little simple one right there, not down there because it kind of disappears. So right, right there. Oh, oh wait, you tell me what you think. That might be an idea, Carolyn. What do you think of that? Yay, nay. What's your thoughts? Levon saying, Levon saying no to jack it up. What? See, this has got like a, um, a sheer look to it, but yet yeah, just gives it a little sparkle. What you say? Anybody out there? Nobody's got an opinion? Huh? What do you think? I kind of like it with that bow. I think it shortens the, the area in here. 
and just gives it a little extra touch. See, because this looks kind of elongated in here. You know what I mean? Okay, did I put everybody to sleep? Really? My computer's gone to sleep. Doesn't it? I think it does. It's just not a big, you know, um, it's not big and gaudy. It's kind of see-through. And it just gives it a little extra punch that actually matches the lantern some. You know what I mean? I think it needed that. Just another little extra touch of class. Let's put it on this one. And then see what you think. really love this. This is a uh, Sam's Club ribbon. Yeah. All right, let's wait a minute here. This is going that way. This is going that way. So this has got to be turned around that way. So they'll be sitting like this. Wait a minute. Yeah, that went that way. And that went that way. With this in the middle plugged in. What do you think? Let me go look. Oh my gosh, that one bow needs to be moved around some like this. Oh yeah. So maybe maybe I'll need I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this needs to be sitting up on something just a little higher than those? You know what I mean? Let me get, I have lots of metal bowls.
put some greenery around the bottom of this bowl right here. What's your thoughts? Okay, everybody left me. Let me put a little greenery in front of there and see if that's the look I'm trying to achieve. I think it will be. What do you think? No? Put that piece of just stick it up too high. Or I'll just set the garland in front of it all. Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> I love it. And see, I also have these. Which, what I was going to do with these, I was originally going to use these for the topiary. Put a little piece of styrofoam down in there or wax and then set my balls up there on that and make an individual one. Oh, thank you, Nelda. And for those just joining, we actually use this, okay, to put our hole through the other end. We just pushed this and pushed it and pushed it till it melted a hole right through the plastic. And then you have your dowel rod that goes up through the middle. And then you just place each one on top of it. I also have this. So maybe... You see, I want this to look farmhouse, rustic. Well... The glitter doesn't make it look very rustic, but I love these old vintage pans. And then I could cover it up with some of this. Or let it just sh show. Let me see what it looks like from over here. So I can see what you're seeing. Oh my gosh. It turned out better than I thought it would. I am I am thrilled with it. See, I, I keep a lot of these because you can do this and then you can get a bigger one to put in here that's higher or place. This is what they do with the ones from Dollar Tree. They place two on top of each other. Then they put another pan on top of here, okay, and then another candlestick and a pan on top of here. And then you've got like a three-tier for your island and your kitchen. That's why I'm always looking for these. Now these were 99 cents a set. <laughs> but look at that. Oh my gosh. That would just look so pretty on an island, wouldn't it? Let me see what else I got we could put on top of that. See? 
would use the E6000 and put that on top of there and create a little winter scene. That's the kind of stuff I like to do. And this project allowed me to do it. Or you could just do that. Put a little one down front here, but I kind of like the stacking. I think that looks awesome. And then put another one up here with a smaller plate on top. Wouldn't that look cool? All right, guys, I think I'm all done. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Now that I'm full of glitter. Look for me. Let's see, Friday night, I will be on Fabulously Fine Designers. I'll be doing a short and simple decorating tip on there. Um, something you can make for your home, repurpose something to make something else um, to decorate your home for the holidays, or give as a gift. That's what we're doing, the 12 days of Christmas on our other community page. Um, we have the community page, which is Fabulously Fine Designers, and then we have um, our paid group, which is Team of Dream Designers. And we've got... Um, seven on there and you can join us twice a week it runs $19.95 a month and we show you stuff on there we don't show on here I was looking to see if I had okay like I can show you the base of what I showed them how to make the other night we actually made this in our group isn't that an awesome looking wreath this one is not the one we completed this was just one that I thought about putting together. But those are the kind of things we do on our other group that's paid. Oh, thank you, Rita. Oh, thank you, Nelda. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. And uh, thank you so much for joining and spending time with me. Um, I'll be on Fabulously Fine Designers on Friday night for day six, and um, then I'll be back on Monday and Wednesday. And I might jump on in between live on here just to give you more Christmas gift ideas, okay? All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great evening.